Hello guys and today it was officially confirmed that on the 28th of March Russia decided to help Ukraine and shot down their own aircraft Su-27. And actually it is not the first, not the tenth and perhaps the hundredth time when Russian negligence and friendly fire result in the destruction of important Russian army objects or people. And I thought as many of you are getting ready for Easter, let's discuss these beautiful moments that demonstrate us vividly that good prevails over evil and Russians start destroying themselves. They may start with army and finish with all of the Federation. And I thought it would be interesting to share with you my ordinary Ukrainian perspective of why this is happening. And let's start with this case of Su-27. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So on the 28th of March, Russians shot down their own Su-27. It is expensive, it is problematic, and once again, it is an accident that is definitely difficult to explain. Why is it happening? This is the question that I've asked myself, and really quickly I have found an answer on Telegram channels and in comments above the articles. Russians are very much afraid. They know that Ukrainians are really good at shooting down their jets, do you remember this really long season when we've downed like 13 um, aircraft in a week? This is huge and whenever they see anything moving or they think it might be a problem, they start shooting. So this was the reason for the destruction of Su-27 by a Russian army. From what I know, the pilot managed to escape the falling jet, but the jet did not survive the meeting with the ground. And I think that all Russian aircraft should follow this example and help Russia end this war and start saving their own country. Anyway, it is not the first aircraft that Russians have neutralized by themselves. It was also Su-34 in September 2023. It was also ill with a crew, with a crew of A-50 aircraft that was previously downed by Ukraine. But there are not many such specialists and losing them, especially shooting them in another uh, aircraft when they were traveling to maybe the place of repairment or training or something like that is huge. This is something that if would have happened in a normal democratic country would be discussed maybe for years. But in Russia, nothing happened. You clearly remember moments when they have huge fires or explosions on their oil refineries and they do not say this is an attack. They do not say this is an explosion. They say this is an event or loud sounds were heard and so on. Russian vocabulary is extremely, extremely Orwellian. So we know approximately three or four aircraft that were shot down by Russian army, Russian aircraft, but I'm sure there are many more that lost control or grounded really quickly. We just don't know about them because of censorship and propaganda inside Russian media. But we don't have censorship on YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine and help us fight against Russian disinformation and share more information about Ukraine in this challenging times. So please do. And of course, friendly fire is a problem uh, during wars in general. But Russians have very poor connections, lack um, normal training. They don't care much about people they send in the so-called meat waves. And I think that the numbers of Russians that shoot down Russians in uh, Ukraine is huge. And who are we to stop this beautiful tendency? Also, uh, there are cases when they uh, shoot down the uh, weapons uh, and other things and one of my favorite cases is when Russian bomber bombed Belgorod. 
accidentally. Um, what's the reason for that? Well, first of all, Russia is terrified that Ukraine is so strong, so resilient and so unpredictable. Second, they are traditionally negligent. They do consume a lot of alcohol and also they have lots of outdated, really old Soviet times uh, bombs and aircraft and the new ones that they produce in this like three four schedules with not enough um, things they need to construct missiles or bombs they are of very very loud uh, low quality and I think that we actually do not know much about a huge number of accidents that happens on Russian factories, on Russian plants that are now working like crazy for the military industry in extremely bad, extremely poor conditions. So in general, Russia is definitely killing itself. Um, being a very non-professional, being very negligent, being uh, very aggressive and you know like being filled with hatred does not help you fight. And traditionally, they don't care about people, they uh, do care about um, weapons and aircraft, so perhaps the destruction of this Su-27 was a huge tragedy for Russian military. And I hope they will help us and continue destroying themselves. This is a good reminder, good always prevails over evil and to evil people and things happen, happen things. I know that many of you are getting ready to celebrate Easter tomorrow, so my congratulations and I wish you health and peace. For Ukraine, I wish the same, but peace only after victory. This is a very important reminder that we always add whenever people wish us peace, because there are different kinds of peace. We don't need a frozen conflict. By the way, I share an update made by uh, United24, if I'm not mistaken, on my Instagram, where they explain why uh, frozen conflicts are so bad. Remember to join me on Instagram. You will find the link in the description of this video. No, we don't celebrate Easter tomorrow. Uh, we've changed the calendar and now we celebrate Christmas with you, but Easter's are counted according to some formulas that um, are different in Orthodox and Catholic Church. And our Easter is going to be, do you know when? On the 5th of May really late sometimes we celebrate them together sometimes there is like two three weeks difference but this year it's huge perhaps one of the largest differences in timing it's just the 5th of may really late anyway uh be happy be strong and we have to fight we have to be able to withstand this evil because this is what bible teaches us too and remember to join me on Threads, on X, on Discord. We have a beautiful merch shop and you may find the link and introduce yourself to the items using it. Thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and helping me feel more. But most importantly, united we stand. Slava Ukraini!